फिर इस ओके Right, so if you have read and understood, considering the clinical examination station, kindly begin. I'll enter the room, I'll wash my hands, and yes. I'll introduce myself. Hello, I'm Dr. Karma, one of the exam candidates. Uh, today I've been asked to examine uh, your tummy, which will involve looking, feeling, and uh, also I'll, it, I'll also have to examine your hands and legs. Uh, is it okay with you? Yes. Yes. Uh, before we proceed, can I confirm your name and age, please? Uh, my name is Laura. I'm 44 years old. Laura. Hi, Laura. Thank you. Uh, nice to meet you. So I'll start uh, from the end of the bed. I look for the general build uh, Wait, appearance. Before that, the exposure. Oh, exposure. Yes, yeah. I have to expose. I'll ask her to uh, take her take her. Gown, uh, take off our gown and uh, provide uh, chaperone. The exposure will be from nipple to the mid thigh. Yes. I'll ask her to keep the shorts the for dignity. Yes, yes undergarments for dignity. And uh, I'll examine from the end of the bed, uh, yes. look for built general appearance, and also look for bedside medication charts or oxygen cylinders if there is any. Then I'll come from to the side of the bed, right side. Then I'll also that I need to examine your hands. I look for pillow, I look for clubbing, I look leukonychia, colonychia, then yes. I uh, see for any palmoiratima or contracture. Then I'll check for uh, asterixis, uh, where, where, where I allow the patient to uh, extend his extends, extend her hands at the wrist and then uh, display her fingers and see and whether there's any flapping. Yes. Then I'll check the pulse. Now I'm going to check your pulse. I'll check the pulse and then I'll go to the neck. Then on the neck, I'll check for neck veins and I'll check for the carotid pulse. I'll see if, uh, if there is any uh, cervical uh, lymphadenopathy. Then I'll go to the face. Now, Laura, I'm going to examine your face. I'll look at the eyes, check for, uh, I'll ask her to look up. I'll pull down the eyelid, check for pallor. I'll ask her to look down, then I'll check for uh, jaundice. Then I'll uh, ask her to open her mouth, then check for oral hygiene, dehydration. I'll ask, ask her to stick her down, look for any central sinuses. Then I'll look at the chest and trunk for any spider nevi. And uh, now I'm going to uh, look at your tummy. I'll uh, look for uh, look for any any scar mark, any skin changes, any uh, swelling or uh, any abdominal distension. Then I look for any uh, any visible peristalsis or visible visible pulse pulsation. Then now, uh, Laura, I'm going to feel your tummy. Uh, do you have any pain at the moment? Um, yes, I have pain at the moment. Uh, where exactly is it? Um, Can you point it? Yeah, it's um, around um, just the upper central area, and it goes to the back. Okay, I'm so sorry, but uh, I'll be very gentle. If you if if you have any pain uh, during my examination, please tell me. I'll I'll be as gentle as possible, and if you insist, I'll stop it right away. And I'll begin from the uh, I'll begin from the. Avoiding the epigas, since the pain is in the upper abdomen, I'll begin from the right, right uh, hypochondrium and then in the clock, uh, anticlockwise uh, manner. And yes. then examine the epigastrium or the upper abdomen in the last. I'll do the superficial palpation. Uh, and then 
uh, I'll uh, do the deep palpation. Now I'm going to uh, uh, press a little harder. And if it is painful, uh, please stop me. If you, uh, if it is painful, please stop me. Uh, and then I'll do the deep palpation. In the deep palpation, I'll palpate the uh, liver. I'll palpate the spleen. In this procedure, I'll ask her to take nice and deep uh, breath, uh, deep breath, and then palpate the liver, spleen, then palpate the abdominal outer, and then uh, palpate the kidney. See whether the kidney is palatable or not with by uh, by minor palpation. Then I'll uh, now I'm going to tap on your tummy. I'll uh, see for any uh, shifting dullness, upper border of liver dullness, any spleen. Uh, focus for spleen dullness and then uh, bladder. Now, Laura, I'm going to uh, listen to your tummy. I'll listen for uh, bowel sounds in the left eyelid fossa. In the then I'll listen for any abdominal, sorry, any aortic bruit. And if the if there is hepatomegaly, or splenomegaly, I'll listen for hepatic bruit or splenic grub. Then. Uh, 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 and then, uh, Laura, I'm going to examine your legs. Uh, do you have any pain at the moment in your legs? No, I don't have pain in my legs. Okay. I'll check for edema, and I'll, uh, I'm going to press your calf muscles. Uh, I hope you have no pain. So I'll press the calf muscles, see for any calf tenderness. Then, uh, uh, yes, uh, so I'll uh, thank the patient. I'll ask the patient to uh, dress up. Then I'll wash my hands. Uh, thank you, Laura, for your time. I'll uh, get back, get back my examination findings to my consultant and get back to you. Thank you. So today I've examined the Laura, 44 years old female, who came yeah. with <clears throat> complaints of uh, epigastric pain uh, and uh, vomiting. And on general examination, she had fever and uh, uh, tachycardia. And uh, on the, the the other general examination findings were normal. On the uh, examination of the abdomen, there was a uh, tenderness in the epigastrium that was radiating to the back, and uh, yes. and the rest of the examination findings were Mur normal. Murphy, uh, Murphy sign was positive. Murphy, Murphy sign was positive. Murphy you have to say it. And uh, you did was, not do the percussion because the, because uh, on the liver. This is something you have to remember. Okay, then. Murphy sign was negative, ma'am. In this one. Uh, oh, sorry, Murphy sign was positive. Sorry. Yes. Okay, then uh, what was oh. the differential diagnosis for this patient? Uh, considering the presentation, uh, my difference, my differential, my my provisional diagnosis will be acute cholecystitis. Yes. I'll also consider SN cholangitis, acute pancreatitis, peptic yes. ulcer disease, yes. or perforated viscous. Yes. Okay. Good. How to, how do you how would you confirm your diagnosis? To confirm my diagnosis, uh, I, most important, I'll do imaging. I'll do ultrasound of the abdomen. I'll also, if needed, I'll also do CT scan, but uh, and I'll also run some blood uh, blood uh, workup. I'll do full blood count, urea electrolytes, yes. um, CRP. I'll yes. do um, liver function uh, liver function test, and, uh, and one basic simple test. Abdominal and then I'll also do serum amylase and lipid. Yes, abdominal ultrasound to see what abdominal. Ultrasound. Dilated CVD. Okay, what are the alter treatment alternatives that you can offer this patient? Uh, since I'm considering acute cholecystitis, I'll treat. Uh, I'll try to treat the patient conservatively initially. I keep the patient nil by mouth, uh, uh, start IV fluid and IV antibiotics, and if a patient doesn't respond, then I'll I'll offer uh, surgical treatment, where I, whereby I can do either laparoscopic or open cholecystectomy. If uh, conservative treatment fails, when is the surgical management? When surgical management can be offered? Uh, if conservative management fails, and if there's no other comp impending complications like uh, 
emphysema or any gangrenous gallbladder, then I can do in four to six weeks, ma'am. Yeah, five Electric. weeks can be done. Okay. All right. Right. Yeah, good. Okay. Was there anything that you missed? In the examination, ma'am? Yes, please. Yeah. Yes, what is the feedback others are giving? Yeah, I think um, yes. you didn't, you didn't, you didn't um, check for the anya orifices. Yes. Oh, I, I, yes, ma'am. Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> for percussion, remember if your uh, primary uh, diagnosis is cholecystitis, then you are mm -hmm. not going to percuss on the liver area. Then also, you didn't check for the uh, signs, abdominal signs. You didn't check, for, signs, you didn't yeah. check for morphe sign, for example. No. You didn't check for rebound tenderness. Yes, you didn't. You didn't check for, you didn't check for those two. Okay, did you say uh, cholecystitis? Why not you thought of ascending cholangitis? Patient is having fever. Now I'm thinking after you have done because it is very important once you are giving the, uh, the diagnosis, your provisional diagnosis should be close to the stem. And this one patient was febrile. So ascending cholangitis is more kind of. Cholecystitis can also present with yes, fever, no ma'am, sometimes. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. And, and That's here, why I here the pain, Number one. pain radiates to the tip of the shoulder. Yes. And also radiating to the back, yes. where we have to test the BOA sign, yeah. which I missed. <laughs> yes, but now you know. Next time, we'll practice again so that you'll be able to. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.